Right. An unused and dry house, if it's unheated, won't get mouldy. Mould needs moisture. And it's in a, a well-built house. A well-built house that doesn't have leaks in from the outside because there's two places moisture can come from it can come from the outside so if you've got leaky gutters or a hole in the roof or whatever and then it will go moldy but molds need warmth and moisture and if you are not using a room and it is structurally dry won't get moldy because if you don't heat it because it will be cold but more importantly humans give off a lot of moisture now the two problems if you turn your radiator valve down so that that room is not frosting that's important keep the radiator just so that it will keep frost away from the room and you shut the door and you don't open the door it shouldn't go moldy because there's no people in it creating moisture what it might do if your interior is not very well insulated it might act as a heat sink so the heat that if you have got for example a living room below it not having the above room heated, if there's no insulation between it, will allow the heat to seep up through the floorboards. And that room will get warm because it's trapped in by your roof insulation. So I think 10 is probably a little about right, maybe a little bit lower, um, because you've got to hit the balance. There is absolutely no point you heating a room that you do not use, none. It's a waste of energy. Also, though, if you haven't got plants in it, if you are unheating a room, might I suggest that you draw the curtains so that you keep it nice and cool and dark, keep the door shut, and also put something like a draft excluder along the bottom of the door, just so that you seal that room off to try and stop it acting as a heat sink. But do keep an eye out, like I said, because that is definitely a thing um, that, you know, obviously... But, and that depends how, how your house is built. Um, but with no humans, no moisture, the mould shouldn't be a problem.